Now, earlier today, RBS Silvanus Karemera spoke to the veteran politician Bernard Makuza, one of the people who were at Hotel de Mille Colline in 1994 during the genocide that was perpetrated against the Tutsis, to ask him what it was like and what sort of a person Paul Rusi Sabagina was at the time that they took refuge in this hotel. In the film Hotel Rwanda, he was depicted as someone who saved 1,260 people and then the U.S. president gave him the Presidential Award of Freedom in 2005. Uh, could you give us a brief description of who he was uh, and how it was on a daily basis with him as one of the people who was at the hotel at the time? Well, he held several meetings with those who were uh, in charge at the time. Uh, the important thing was that uh, he would put people on pressure uh, to give him money, yet people had gone to seek refuge. To him, it was his time to get money. Uh, some did not have money, however, uh, some would agree to pay at a later date through written agreements. It was a sad thing because uh, this was a refuge and uh, everyone needed help. Others were even hiding in the midst in all this. Uh, he said he saved people, but when he got there, he took over the hotel. Uh, people lived in fear of not paying for survival. This was a lie, and it's sad that uh, he was taken as someone who saved others. Uh, those who said uh, the truth instead were seen as liars and that uh, they were working for the government. But which government then would they be talking about? It was about money for him, and that movie did not depict anything he did. It was lie. I'm not surprised that he went and joined I'm not surprised that he went and joined hands with terrorist groups which then came and attacked Nyunge and Nyabimata. People should not be blinded by lies and call those who know the truth liars. It's time for justice and many will feel it.